Hey folks, my name is Brad Martin, and as you can see, today I'm up in the mountains in a Vermont stream. I'm joined today by my friend Chris. Hey folks! And we already have out a bunch of equipment to find gold. But, about a month ago, I was up in the same exact stream looking for gold, and just as a byproduct, we were finding garnet. Garnet happens to be my birthstone, and it's also Vermont State Gemstone. I was very excited about finding these garnets, so we're back up today to find specifically the garnets with gold as the byproduct. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. So about a month ago when we were up here with our friend Scott, the hole that we were standing in is down there. Now this is state land, it's free for anybody to come up here and gold pan, but you know everybody's kind of got their own spot. So we're going to not go in their hole that they've spent so much time and effort digging and we're going to start a new hole. We're not exactly experts when it comes to this so we're just going to pick a spot and just start digging down as far as we can go. We set our stuff here. So let's start digging here. Well, the hole's getting nice and deep. The stuff I'm looking for has like a reddish brown color to it. Not every shovel looks like that. I just found a garnet right on my top of my shovel. Woohoo! <laughs> so that's a good sign too because garnets are heavy. So I'll throw this in there. Once we get one of these pans full, uh, there's it's full of water. We give it a shake shake here. And the idea is to get rid of all the big stuff. Checking of course to make sure we don't have a fist sized garnet or a <laughs> nugget of gold. So the uh, general idea here is once I get most of the material out, there's too much here to like start looking for gold. So, but what I usually do is I'll bring all this material back and kind of get it in a nice thin layer and then I can start looking for my garnets and uh, this pan doesn't seem to have a whole lot in it lots of really teeny tiny ones this size Let's see if there's any gold too one little piece right here I'll take it, I pick it up, I lost it. <laughs> oh, there it is right there. <laughs> we're not, uh, I don't think we're deep enough in our hole yet. We gotta keep going. Deeper! We're just finally starting to get into some better stuff. And Chris just found his first little, tiny, tiny little micron piece of gold ever. Uh, we kind of missed the moment on camera, but it was exciting. And uh, this is kind of what we're getting out of one typical pan now for garnets. These are not very pretty, but it's something. Uh, we're getting deeper and deeper. What'd you get? Another flake right you there. Another little piece of gold too. Yeah. We're not going to get rich off those, but hopefully we'll find some nice stones today. It's like the perfect day for this. Yeah, it is. It's like 90, but it doesn't feel like that sitting here. Oh, perfect. So I just found uh, my best, not biggest, but best garnet yet, uh, just because of how clear and red it is. Uh, I'm going to get my... what? 
<laughs> that started floating by me. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna go get a flashlight. See if we can light it up. So not all of these garnets that are out here are clear. A lot of them are super cloudy and uh, hard to tell that they're red, but this one is pretty good. Best one yet. Very good. Let's see if we can find some more. Not bad size, I'd say. No. Not a bad size at all. Not a bad size at all. Did you get any garnets in that pan? Uh, nothing. Uh, I mean, a lot of little ones. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Once you get to like the bottom of the pan where you're finding gold, it's just like teeny tiny little garnets everywhere. But we're looking for the bigger ones. So here's our hole. I'm no miner. I think they call this overburden, right? It's just the stuff that was on top that we're throwing to the side. And we've been here a few hours now and our hole's getting pretty deep and our pile's getting pretty big, but we're just finally starting to get into a lot of garnets and uh, a lot of gold. Well, not a lot of gold, but the most gold we found today. Pretty exciting. So we're having uh, relatively moderate success here, which is very morale boosting because we actually started the day down in this beautiful gorge. We had very high hopes. We walked down in there and we spent about an hour, I would say, down in there. Um, and we found zip. No garnets, no gold, nothing. And uh, I was getting real panicky because we drove quite a ways to be here today. And I was like, oh my God, we're not gonna find anything. So we moved up to a place where, you know, we're fairly sure we'd find something here because we did find stuff right down there about a month ago. So far, so good. Too bad too, that gorge was yeah. beautiful. Just good enough to be in its presence. Yes. We could have spent the day there just hanging out, but uh, our goal today is to find some garnets. Garnets! <laughs> We're uh, getting deeper in our hole and we are starting to find more and more gold. This was all from just one little pan. The garnets are small in this particular bucket, but I'm not picky. I'll take some gold too. <laughs> We're getting deeper and deeper in that hole. It's getting better and better. Chris just found one. Nice. Your has a lot of points on every side. Yeah, That's it's like awesome. basically a gemstone as it is. Um, and mine is the biggest one I've seen, but it's not very pretty. You know, it's clearly red when the light hits it just right, but it's all kind of craggy and dirty. Still cool though. Put it in the tumbler. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, we are starting to get into some better gold. I just found my biggest piece. Again, still not very big, but not bad. What I just found, I didn't find it panning, but piece of uh, plate, it seems like. Really, pretty heavy duty. That's pretty cool. Uh, there are some home sites upstream, but you know, state land. Can't metal detect that stuff. It's pretty cool. Well, the time has come to start filling up our last bucket. It's getting late in the day and you know, gold and garnets are not everywhere in Vermont. So we had to drive almost two hours to get here today from where we live. So we have to save time at the end of the day for us to get home at a reasonable hour. So it's time for our last bucket. And uh, you know, we've made it qu quite deep in this hole. Not sure you can tell, but uh, that's up past my waist. So I'm gonna get in there, put some more scoops to fill this bucket and we'll see what we have here at the very bottom.
right, I don't know what's in this, but I'm getting down to the bottom of the pan here. This is uh, the top of the bucket, really. There's a garnet. There goes my pan downstream. <laughs> Not bad. There's a moment ago, I found this one, which I think Chris and I both agree is the biggest one yet. Pretty awesome. Let's keep going with this. You can see the garnets are lining up back here. It's a small one. That is a broken one, unfortunately. These are all a little bit too small for what we're looking for. We're looking for kind of pea-sized. Here's one. It's got those nice, flat, kind of smooth sides to it. Pull all this material back and see if we can find any bigger ones here. This is, but it's broken. This is, but it's pretty cloudy. That is, but it's also pretty cloudy. Do you have any gold in here? It's a little bonus. Well, one, two, three, four little tiny pieces of gold in there, which we'll try to we'll try to suck those up, but um, they're quite small. This here, I'm pretty happy with these four guys we got out of this pan. Cool, cool, cool. Let's keep going. All right, we're in our last pans out of our last bucket, and I just got that guy. That thing is gorgeous. I have no idea how clear it is. Deer flies are eating me. I have no idea how clear it is or if a light will shine through it, but it's got like a diamond, you know, like a natural diamond facet on there. So cool. Let's continue on with this bucket. Ah, oh, I just got another one just 30 seconds later. Look at that one. Again, I don't know how clear it is, but it certainly has a lot of flat edges to it. Awesome. All right, well that last bucket was a good one. We both found several more garnets, a little bit more gold, and uh, we've got all of our stuff laid out from the day. Let's take a look at it. So here's my pan. My garnets, I haven't counted them. There's a few of them. My little pile of gold is probably like 50 cents worth of gold, but I don't care. And we have Chris's pan. He had a smaller pan. Um, his gold and his garnets. Do you have a favorite? I don't know if that's glass. Oh, yeah. Or not, but that's just it's just kind of like clear, huh? So what is the destination for these garnets? We're gonna throw some in a rock tumbler, see what happens, try to polish some up by hand. But uh, I don't know, I just like them. I think they're so, so cool. Like I said, it's my birthstone and it's also Vermont's state gemstone, yeah. uh, which double and triple the coolness for me at least. <laughs> Jeff, fun? I did. Thanks for bringing me. We didn't find any nuggets today, but uh, that's not really what we were looking for. We were trying to fill our pockets full of garnets, and I think we did that. I hope you enjoyed spending the day in the river as much as we did. Hopefully you'll join us next time when we'll probably have metal detectors up here looking for old stuff in the mountains of Vermont. See you next time. See ya. Mm -hmm.